when I first became a caregiver, I was clueless. I didn't know what I wanted. There's lack of support, lack of training. So I was there um, not knowing what to do. Um, and I can still remember the face of this, this lady right in front of my face right now and how I wish that what I know now is something that I have applied when I was taking care of her. So maybe I, in that regard, I could have improved her quality of life. That's one of my regrets. Having a dementia or Alzheimer's patient, the caregiver or anyone who's caring for a dementia patient must have a proper orientation and the right tools of training so that they could deliver of the best possible care for the patients. The caregiver it goes beyond just getting to know the person, simple introductions. Um, the interaction has to go pretty deep, pretty fast. The caregiver has to get to know the person on a social level, identify their needs on a physical level, and make sure that they're safe. One of the biggest challenges that caregivers face when they deal with um, Alzheimer's and dementia patients would have to be communication. We have to try to see things through their perspective, to be in their world. We have to be others oriented and that's really important because ultimately we want to make sure that they are safe and that they feel safe. A lot of them feels unheard, unsupported. It's, it's easily to feel disheartened in, in a lot of healthcare work, especially our caregivers. There would be a lack of training or lack of, shall we say, information and you know, having lack of insight to certain things. Um, it can make the job more difficult. We have to empower the caregivers, family members, or loved one that doing the actual care for dementia patients. Starting off with the training, when you present the headsets and, and, and you, they get the handle on there, there's that wow factor. Um, what's exciting about this new method of training is, you know, the use of technology. We dedicated the time to do the research and to understand exactly what our clients are going through and our caregivers are going through. You feel that you're there and the scenarios that they introduce to you, uh, they do seem rather, rather realistic. Um, anytime that you can find uh, a way to bridge technology with learning, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of it. It was very exciting because you kind of immerse yourself in a reality wherein Whoa, it's, it's not really happening right now, but it feels like it is happening. Uh, I found it to be quite helpful because it was almost as if uh, I was there. I was actually there. And, you know, the virtual reality training uh, really does make you feel that you're being a first-hand witness of what's going on. Everything that the teacher is giving to the learner um, is exactly displayed as it, as it needs to be. So how you as the learner take that in, how you feel it, um, any stress that you may have, you get a better understanding of not only what we're trying to teach you, but also how you yourself would be able to take it in in a real life situation. So they get to fail in a safe environment and they get that confidence to learn from what they just did. We feel that this is an emerging um, industry that has a very fragmented communications among the providers the agencies and the family members. We always tell everyone that clients and caregivers are the two segments of the society that's very, very important for us. This is in a way a gift that we can provide them. We actually partnered with Striver. We provided content, our expertise, and they decided to work with us together to uh, come up with a very immersive experience that they could possibly give us. I would like this VR training to be in part of household of each of the clients. I would like this VR training to be part of all the retirement communities servicing all our seniors. I would like this to be globally known. I saw the commitment of my team to really immerse themselves, to put down their egos, and to just create something that is going to impact to our caregivers and our clients. And I'm very proud that they came to that directions of unity and collaboration. And now we're here with the launch of our product.